Hi everyone, welcome to our channel. In this video, we'll learn about Python. We'll learn about introduction to Python using Jupyter Notebook. Generally, we have two IDEs which are used while working with Python. One is PyCharm and the second one is Jupyter Notebook. We will learn and work with Jupyter Notebook today in this video as it is more preferred while working with data analytics or data science. If you want to learn and explore PyCharm, please comment in comment section and we will add tutorial of using PyCharm. As you can see my screen, I have opened Jupyter Notebook and created a folder Python Tutorials. I will create a new Python 3 file from the drop down menu New on right hand side. Once I create a new file, a new page is opened. You can see in the new page there are three bars. The topmost bar is the title bar, followed by menu bar, and just below menu bar there is task bar. In menu bar, we have list of properties under file menu. We can create a new notebook using new notebook option under file menu. We can open an existing Python file using open option. We can create a copy of existing Python file using make a copy option under file menu. Save as option is used to save the Python files. Rename option can be used to rename the open Python file name. Save and checkpoint option which is under file menu is also a very important option. Whenever we are developing any code and we want to continue after taking a pause or if we have 100 steps of code and we want to run or change the code after 71st step, then you can save the checkpoint at 70th step and start testing after the checkpoint. We have a print preview option which provides a user an option to preview how the output will look like when we print the Jupyter file. Under download as menu, we have different options how we can download the Jupyter Notebook files. The most commonly used download options is HTML that is .html extension as the downloaded web pages are easy to share. For making citing and reports and projects, latex file or .txt files are also used. .py, python, notebook, .jpy, nb, and pdfs are also very common type of downloads. Under edit menu, we have cut cells, copy cells, split cells, etc. These options are used to alter and modify the cells in the python file. This long rectangular bar is known as cell, where we can write code or headings or text. We can also add new cells in the python file by using the plus symbol in the taskbar. The same option you can find under insert menu. Then we have view menu. Using options under view menu, we can alter the view of the python file. As mentioned before, using insert menu options, we can also insert cells above or below of the selected cell. Under cells menu, you can see we have lot of options like run cells, run and selected run cells, run all, etc. You can see we have multiple options under kernel dropdown such as interrupt, restart, reconnect, etc. Now you must be wondering what are kernels? So kernels in Python are process that runs independently and interact with JupyterLab. This is the program that runs and intercepts the user codes in Python. You can use save button in the taskbar to save your code. You can name or rename your notebook by just clicking over the name in the title bar. We will learn next about different data types in Python. Hence, I am renaming the file as data types in Python. Now the name of the file is changed. We have already seen that using the plus option in taskbar adds a new cell. Similarly, using scissor icon cuts the selected cell. The right of the scissor icon is the copy icon. It copies the selected files and the next icon is for pasting the copied or cut cell. You can use the arrow in the taskbar to select the cell above or below. Now let's try printing the universal first word in programming language that is hello everyone. You can run the code using the run sign in the taskbar or you can use shortcut that is control plus return key. 
You can use the stop command in taskbar to stop the running code. And you can restart the current running kernel using the curved arrow button right to the stop kernel button. The drop down in taskbar gives you option to select type of python cells. The current selection is code type. You can change it to markdown or heading which you can see in the drop down. The markdown option makes the cell as plain text. When you run the cell with markdown, the output doesn't run any command. It works as plain text. You can also select heading under the code drop down. By default, the heading is set to H2 as per the HTML standard. We can also change the font size of heading by using HTML heading setter by providing attribute H1, H2 to H6. Here we have shown both H1 and H3 as an example to show you the difference. This was the basic overview of Python using Jupyter Notebook IDE. We will further see details and introduction to Python language. Further in our next video, we will see in details what are the data types in Python. So stay tuned. And if you like this video, please like, share and subscribe. You can reach out through comment section if you have any question and concerns and don't forget to subscribe our channel.